What's up, everybody? So, uh, I want to talk about how you can't handle pain, then you truly don't want success. It's easy to say that you want something. It's easy to say that you want to accomplish something. But nobody wants to work for it. Nobody want to put in the blood, sweat, and tears for it. Nobody wants to face tragedy uh, or go through adversity, go through a storm, go through some dark times. In order to attain success, you have to go through some type of pain. Uh, you have to feel something. You have to overcome something. How can you relate a message to someone? How can you relate to someone's feelings or situation if you haven't been through something yourself? It's not a, everybody wants to win. Everybody wants the prize, but they don't want to work for it. They don't want to study. Man, work hard for what you want. If you truly want something, if you truly want to accomplish something, go for it. Don't let nothing stop you. Things will come. Stumbling blocks will come. Uh, blocking stones will arise. But guess what? That should not stop you. Find another avenue to maneuver and execute and get to where you truly want to be. If someone is not helping you, if your circle, if your leadership, if your environment is in a good environment or it's not give you the resources, the ability, the encouragement, um, the things that you need to get to that level or to get to that goal that you want to accomplish and find yourself another group. Les Brown always says, if you're the smartest person in your group, you need to find another group because that means to me that <clears throat> there's nothing more you can learn. You're smart, and no one knows everything. So you have to always challenge yourself, <clears throat> expand yourself. Broaden your horizon. You can always be educated. Everybody doesn't know everything. There's always room for improvement. There's always things that you can learn. There's always things that you can experience that can help someone else along the way down the road. Don't limit yourself. Don't limit your expect. Don't limit yourself to the environment that's around you. Just because the environment is low, just because people are giving half effort, just because People are just going through the motions does not mean you have to go through the motions. If you truly want something out of life, you do everything in your power to get there. You truly want to accomplish something. And guess what? Every day you should be doing something to get yourself closer to that goal, to get yourself closer to that vision, to get yourself closer to that victory. Whether it's through physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, all that. It takes every phase of the game. It takes every phase of life in order to get to fulfill your true destiny to fulfill your true calling to fulfill your true purpose don't let the first sign of defeat stop you don't let the first sign of danger make you stop nah man keep going guess what cry about it cry about it do what you have to do put your put put band-aids on your wounds and guess what you get back up and you find a way you get back up and you maneuver yourself into another direction to get to where you truly want to be. Be mindful of the company that you keep. You are truly the company that you keep. If people aren't speaking the same language, if people aren't going in the same direction that you're trying to go, um, then guess what? You need to find yourself some different people. You need to find yourself some different people. Everybody doesn't mean well. On the other side of that, everybody isn't mean either. You have to be able to have the ability to self-assess. You have to be able to have the ability as a person that, guess what? If someone is giving you advice, guidance, criticism, constructive criticism, whatever you want to call it, guess what? If someone tells you 20 things, that does not mean you have to take all each of those 20 things and utilize it. You have to be able to decipher and separate out of those 20 things what is for you and what is not for you it takes it takes it takes time and it takes real ability to truly self-assess and it takes honesty you're a leader guess what don't just talk about your good times don't talk about your accomplishments don't just talk about your accomplishments talk about the bad times talk about the down times that you've had the tragedy that you had to overcome the mistakes the faults the bad that you had to endure because guess what 
No one can truly follow you if they don't respect you, especially in my profession in the Army, yes, due to position and mission and things of that nature, there is times where, guess what, you just have to do what you're told because that is your duty and your responsibility. When you joined the, when you went to the recruiting office and you decided, guess what, this is the profession that I want to do, then there's a time and a place where you have to do what you're told. But as a leader, as a human, don't just be generic, man. Don't be generic. What I mean by being generic, don't be like everybody else. Do the rules, do the guidelines, but guess what? You can always add to, as long as you never take away, you solid. But you can always add to. One or two things should stick out to somebody about you when you come across people. You should want to touch everybody. You should want to. You should want to make a difference in every environment that you're involved in and every person that you come in contact in. Something should stick out. And if something's not sticking out, if someone, if if something doesn't stick out, then guess what? You're wrong. You need to do a self-assessment. You need to do a self-evaluation. Leaders, it's not always about dictating. One of the good qualities or one of the uh, good qualities a leader should have is listening. The Army calls it active listening in the leadership uh, regulation ADP 6-22. Active listening. Active listening is simple things, simple tasks, body language. Uh, eye to eye contact, sitting back and not just blabbing out information, dictating and putting out the rules and the procedures and the guidelines and your expectations. As a leader, you should ask your employees, you should ask your soldiers, you should ask your teammates, guess what? What are your expectations of me as a leader? It goes hand in hand. It goes hand in hand. It goes both ways. Both people, the workers, the teammates, the leaders have to meet 50 Fifty percent at that at, at that middle point. That's what those leaders, those CEOs, those people that are dependable have to meet on the other side of that fifty fifty to get in the middle to accomplish the true goals and the true um responsibilities and the true expectations that are meant, regardless of your profession or your lifestyle. I challenge everybody, man. Tell somebody something nice, man. That does not mean blow smoke up there, but. Give them an encouraging word. Give them an encouraging statement that uh that'll keep them throughout the week. Don't be generic. Or don't limit yourself to just uh your profession. Be diverse. Be diverse. You have to be an expert in your profession, knowledgeable. You have to be empathetic. Um, you have to be understanding. You have to have the ability to self-assess and to be receptive. Don't just put out stuff, but be receptive. Take in, listen, digest, and then execute a plan of action to achieve what is expected for you to achieve. But I challenge everybody, if you truly want success, if you truly want that degree, if you truly want to get married, if you truly want to have that business startup, if you want to truly... Uh, have a big bank account if you truly want that home to sign off on that home for that mortgage uh, that car that vehicle that you want or whatever it is that you want if you want to get promoted if you want to get a new uh, a new uh, position at your job and guess what you will have to go through pain you will have to go through tragedy you will have to go through the dark because guess what when you go through the dark there's always light on the other side of the tunnel if you decide to push through it, if you decide to stay with it, and if you decide to keep going, do not give up at the first sign of defeat. Don't stop because life didn't go your way. Don't halt. Don't turn away. Don't just put your head, keep your head down and give up and lay down and get stomped on because guess what? Things didn't go your way. No, you have to push through it. Overcome, 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 and adapt. Overcome, adapt, execute, evolve, rise above the negativity, rise above the pain, because guess what? Everyone has the chance, everyone has the ability, everyone has the opportunity to achieve whatever they put their heart to, whatever they put their mind to. If you truly decide, it's all about action. Faith without work is dead, man. You can say it. You can you can do all this good stuff and make it all fancy, but guess what? If you ain't putting no action with it, if you're not having no, if you're not really believing, then guess what? That means nothing. 
a goal is just a goal until you write it on a piece of paper. Once you write them goals on a piece of paper, once you write them outlines of what you want and the order of march of how you want it, then guess what? That becomes a vision. And once you have that vision written on a piece of paper, that's your guideline, that's your map, that's your motivator to keep you going. When you feel like giving up, you look at that paper and guess what? You'll say still, I rise and you will make it happen no matter what. Surround yourself around good people. Surround yourself around the people that's like you. Surround us. Surround yourself around people and things that are going or that have been where you're trying to go. Y'all have a good night. And remember, in order to attain true success, you have to go through pain. It is not easy. Because if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Y'all have a good night. Like the video. Comment on the video below. Share the video. Please provide feedback. Whatever you want me to talk about any topics, guess what? I'm going to start making videos every other day. And guess what? It's going to start going to every day. So please provide whatever y'all want me to discuss. Open discussion. Whatever form you want. I'm, I'm about it and I'll make it happen. I appreciate y'all support. I appreciate y'all viewing in, man. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good night.